hello hello how is everyone today my name is Jen and I'm the magical person behind findingmagic.com my website and blog um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about sodalite which to me is a very underrated stone it's um, pretty common I think you see it a lot and I think because you see it a lot, I think, um, you know, it might not be as ooh and ah inducing as some of the other crystals and stones out there, and so it might get overlooked, but um, I think it's a stone that should definitely be in um, everybody's collection and used quite frequently um, by everyone. Um, this is, in terms of chakras, the sodalite is a third eye stone, so it'll help awaken your third eye, and you can use it for that purpose. Um, what I tend to use sodalite for most often is for peaceful sleep. It's known as a sleep stone and for helping people um, get restful sleep. So um, one of the ways I use it most often is... Um, especially since I've got this nice big one in my life now. I put it by my um, nightstand and um, keep it nearby when I'm sleeping. And it seems to have helped me um, feel more restful when I wake up in the morning. Um, you know, it's, it's also a stone known for uh, banishing nightmares. So if that's an issue you're having, you could try um, adding some sodalite to your sleep routine. Um, if you have a smaller piece, you could also, you know, slip it under your pillow or um, maybe under your pillow inside your pillowcase so that you don't lose it if you toss and turn, if you're having some restless sleep and uh, tossing and turning, you know, if it's a small enough piece or flat enough piece, you might be able to stick it under your pillow um, and work with it that way. Um, you can also, um, I tend to like to anoint my stones with various oils so if you have like a calming or peaceful uh, sleep oil blend you know anoint your stone with it or maybe a little bit of lavender oil which I always find relaxing I love lavender um, but the stone um, because it's a third eye stone it's also really great for meditation um, you know you can simply hold it in your hand Hold it in your hand while you're meditating um, to deepen that meditation and um, assist your intuition. You can also, you know, carry it around with you. Put it in your pocket. <laughs> if it's a small one like this, put it in your pocket. I wouldn't recommend a big one like this in your pocket. I tend to keep this one. If I travel with this one, it goes in my purse. And let me tell you, <laughs> you don't want to mess with me when this is in my purse. You, you try and rob me and take my purse, man. You're going to get whacked with a big soda stone. <laughs> um, but, you know, you can also carry it in um, some kind of little medicine bag, which I like to keep around. I put my stones in the little medicine bag, keep it around my neck. Um, so if it's an awkward sized stone and you don't want to keep it in your pocket, you know, some kind of pouch or medicine bag is always great to carry it around or wear it as jewelry. You know, um, I have many stones as pendants and that's a great way to keep the energy of the stone close to you. Um, and if it's a pendant, it's, um, depending on what type of pendant it is, you might even get to, you know, it's nice if it can rest against your skin that you feel the energy of it. Um, a way, um, a use of sodalite that I don't see mentioned often and a way that I've used it as well is uh, to help clear electromagnetic pollution. You know, um, electromagnetic signals like the ultraviolet rays and the radiation that surrounds us from all the electronics we use all the time um, sodalite's supposed to be able to help clear that energy, uh, cause we have a lot of it, don't we? Cell phones, a lot of us carry our cell phones with us all the time, you know, um, we use our computers a lot, so I'll often keep a sodalite near 
when I'm working on my computer. I also, I don't have it um, with me today, but I also created a bracelet that I'll have to show you guys sometime that um, I call my electromagnetic pollution bracelet. Often I'll slip that on when I'm working on um, my computer and it has sodalite and um, smoky quartz and um, I'm trying to think what other stones I put on it. Um, they're all stones known for electromagnetic pollution. I think unikite's in there too. Um, but it actually, it produces, it makes a cool bracelet. It's a cool bracelet, so I'll have to show that to you guys sometime. But, um, so give that a try too. If you haven't used sodalite for um, that person, that purpose, sorry. Try that. Try keeping it near you when you're working um, with anything electronic. And see if it helps clear those waves for you. Um, while I have this stone, I want to know if you guys can see the face that I see in this stone. I've gotten quite a few stones recently <laughs> in my collection that have faces on them. And this sodalite stone is one of them. Um, when I received this stone, I saw this face right away. And I'll give you a minute to see if you see what I see. And then I'll show you what I see. Um, I see a woman, a woman's face, and this woman kind of reminds me of um, probably a late 1980s or early 1990s Madonna when she was doing her blonde ambition and she kind of had that um, platinum blonde bob going on. Um, I kind of see that in the stone, um, you know, the hair, the hair, and then the two eyes, the nose, and this bigger black spots the mouth and the neck um, I see a woman and um, I wonder who she is and I wonder um, what her message is for me and I can't wait to find out because I haven't figured it out yet but um, let me know in the comments if you have stones with faces and figures in them maybe I'll have to do a Facebook live just on that because I have quite a few I have um, like a shaman in one of my stones and I have a wolf in one of my stones and um, it's kind of fun to find things in our stones isn't it but I hope you enjoyed this I hope you're using sodalite um, tell me if you are because I don't I think it's so common that sometimes I don't hear it talked about some of the other stones that are kind of ooh and ah to look at but um, I love sodalite and I hope you do too. So I hope everyone has a good day. Once again, this is Jen from FindingMagic.com and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.